Robert. Robert. What time is it? Half past seven. What's happened to Andy? I don't know. Did you not hear him go? Sorry. Thanks, Seth. You might need it again before long. Yeah, maybe. She just needs time. She must be feeling like her world's come to an end. I don't know what she's feeling. Right, love, everything's sorted. Yeah, well, I'll we'll just about struggle on without you. Hey, that's no way to speak to Cynthia. Well, I'm not, don't get me wrong, we're grateful, like, but there's a thin line between helping out and overdoing it, you know what I mean? No, I don't think I do. I think you're going to have to explain it to me. Because this morning I've got Belle up, I've cooked the breakfast, I washed up last night's dinner things, and I've tidied round a bit, so which bit of that was overdoing it? Oh, Sam could have tidied. I like tidying. See? One of his little pleasures. Mm. Well, I made a stew last night, so all he has to do is put on a loit. <sighs> I could cook tonight. Oh, please don't. Why not? Don't, Dad. What's the matter with a pair of you? think I can't cook? No, Dad, you, you can cook. It's just usually I, I can't eat it. Look, look, I'm not getting involved. Stew's there if you want it. <sighs> Come on, Sam, we're going to be late for work. Any chance of a cup of tea, love? Well, better not. I might burn it, eh? Maybe I should go and look for him. But if I go out, he might come back and I'll miss him. What, Dad? Andy, I've been worrying about you. Are you all right? I couldn't sleep. I went for a walk. Hey, Victoria, do you want to show me that painting you did? You feeling any better? I don't know what to do. Well, there's nothing you can do. Look, I know this is hard, but you're just going to have to get through it. I mean, for Katie. Why won't she see me over the weekend? Well, you only got back Saturday, son, and she's been getting over the procedure. I'm sure she'll be ready to see you today. How can I help her? Well, all you can do is be with her. Is that it? Be with her? Look, this all started with you two wanting to be together, didn't it? Now, correct me if I've got this wrong, but it all started with two kids in love. Now, once you're with her, you'll know what to do. She'll be in pieces, Dad. Yeah, well, that's why she needs you. And you said, no, that's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Betty. Oh, yeah. Mr. Boot. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, of course I'm sure. Oh, well, I wonder how that happened. Mm, I don't know. Maybe too much talking, not enough cleaning had something to do with it. <sighs> you know, that would never have happened in the good old days. What? You mean you wouldn't have missed a bit? No. Bernice would never have spoken to me like that. She held me in high esteem, did Bernice. I wish I'd met her. She was a lovely lass, and she relied on me in so many ways. Well, I was like a mother to her. What was she like behind the bar? <laughs> what was she like? She was like the captain of a ship. She was born to stand behind this bar. And no matter what was going off in a private life, she always had this radiant smile on her face when she stood there. Who are we talking about? 
her niece, presumably. You are allowed to say her name, Betty. She sounds wonderful. She is. Is Diane back there? Yes, yeah, she's... <laughs> she walked out on him. And little Gabby. She went to work on a cruise ship. Why? <sighs> well, it's a bit private, love. Oh, of course, of course. But love, lust and a Spanish chef were involved. I had no idea. No. Neither had Ashley. Come in. How is she? Search me. How do you mean? She says she's fine. Hi. Hello. How are you feeling? Sorry, I didn't see you over the weekend. I just stayed in bed. Oh, it's okay. Do you want a drink? I'm all right, thanks. I've, uh, I've got some work to do in the garden. Uh, I'm sure you two have got a lot to talk about. So, how are you feeling then? You already asked me that. Yeah, but you didn't answer. I'm okay. Right. Are you sure I don't want some? Well, how about we put a stall out here? No, no, no. Send out the wrong message. We deal in antiques, not, uh, not junk. Yeah, but you want people to see what you've got, don't you? Hmm? Rodney, you are listening to me, aren't you? You should, Abby. Excuse me. Morning. What do you think? Should Rodney hide all his stuff away, or should he have it all out on shore? <laughs> well... That would depend on whether he's going for subtle or hard sell. Well, I don't generally have to try too hard. I, uh, I normally leave mm -mm. that for the younger generation. He does look a bit raw. He is. No experience. Whereas you... Uh... I have an eye for quality. <laughs> we'll have to have that, uh, that drink sometime. I look forward to that. Uh, what was all that about? You just got patronised and I got a date. Didn't you notice? <laughs> got to get off to the wolf back in a minute, but I've done you up some butties. Carlo. Hey, I could have done that. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? You should be out looking for work instead of sat around here doing nothing. You've got wedding presents to buy, outfits. I am still here because I've got business to discuss with Marlon. Have you? Yeah, Mark is trying to rip you off. Don't worry, don't worry. I've got a plan. Yeah? Yeah, I thought maybe... Oh, I don't know. Oh, pay him. No, don't be so... Luke, the price is a bit of a shock, granted, but I told him to do whatever it takes. He's done that, and now he's got to be paid. Yeah, he's a good worker, is Mac. He's done a good job. I'll deal with him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You'll, de you'll deal with him. What does that mean, exactly? Bottom line, he quoted you four grand and he's charging you seven. No dingle is going to put up with that. This one is. Bye. Uh, oh. You go, to. Uh, you need me. I do not need you moaning and sulking round here like you have been all morning. Find yourself something useful to do. OK, I will. The oven is on and here's your butties. Now, that's a start, isn't it? <laughs> but if you want to see really useful, you wait and see what I bring home. Well, what do you mean? Uh, don't be too long! Can we turn this off? I'm watching it. I thought we should talk. <sighs> what? Go on, then. Something terrible has happened. It's not that terrible. What? One in four pregnancies end this way. I mean, Dr. Deyu said. It must happen all the time, Andy. Don't pretend that you're not hurt. You know how you felt on Friday. Well, yeah, I was upset. Of course I was. But I'm not going to be upset forever. I don't understand you. Well, all this talk about it, talk about it, makes you feel better. I don't get it. First of all, I don't want to talk about it. And second, I feel OK. I don't feel great, but considering what's happened, I feel all right. I don't believe you. I feel terrible. Yeah, well, maybe I'm tougher than you. 
I feel tired. I'm going to get a lie down. Should I come round later? No. You off already? No point staying. Just a minute. Did you get anywhere? No. Marlon, I was hoping to run into you. Gotta get some milk, do you? No, I still got spilt with shorts. Right, right. Uh, there was something I wanted to tell you. Oh, it's about Shay Marlon. Okay. The diocese has bought it. I'm sorry. The diocese has bought Shay Marlon. You're going to run a restaurant? No, 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 no. Uh, they're going to convert it into a church. I was surprised too. Are you all right? I'm going to get that milk. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Marlon. Um, I know it meant a lot to you. I thought you should be told. Hi. Tell you what, I deserve a drink. You reckon? Uh, excuse me. Uh, yes. Dirty glasses. Let me see. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Smooth operator. Lemonade shandy. <laughs> How are you feeling? All right as rain, thank you. Although I don't know why rain should be right. Might as well be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's going fine there. Uh, lemonade shandy and a glass of claret, please. Good afternoon. Hiya. Is it, Vicar? Is it a good afternoon to be discussing lewd pictures? Tasteful news. That is a contradiction in terms. You know, you don't have to be here, Edna, if you don't want to be. Oh, yes, I do. If this disgraceful plan is going to go ahead, then I am going to keep it as decent as possible. And I'll welcome your steady hand on the tiller. Are you still willing to be in it, Betty? I certainly am. What about you, Laurel? Oh, no, she's too young and she's too new to the village. I expect Edna's right. I'll ask around and see who's willing to sacrifice their dignity to raise a few pennies. Charity Tate springs to mind. Uh, and, and just to confirm, have you, in fact, ruled yourself out, Edna? Is that meant to be humorous? Made me laugh. Afternoon, all. Zack, what's this? Eh? Oh, I just you not turned out too well. Ugh. I told you not to be too long. I sat here smelling it burning. I couldn't do out about it. Where were you? I was involved in a titanic struggle between man and fish. Oh. <laughs> you ruined Cynthia's stew. Mm. Yeah, well, it don't matter. We can eat this. Mm. Nice-looking trout. Don't you talk about Lisa like that. <laughs> hey? Zach, you're going to have to clean cooker first cos it's full of burnt gravy. Uh, no problem. You ladies just relax. Your dinner is in good hands. Everything all right? Of course. What are you up to? Playing tennis. What's it look like, Dad? I had dropped in to see Andy. Why? Well, just for a chat. He's worried about you. He worries too much. Same as you. I'll leave you to it then, if you're okay. I saw you moving the pram before. Yeah, well, I, uh, I thought it'd be better out of the way. Well, I wasn't going to burst into tears the second I saw it, Dad. I just wanted to... Uh... Protect me. I know. The thing is, Dad, I'm OK. I really am. Except I'm getting a bit bored of people treating me like this. Right. Understood. <clears throat> Prepare to be impressed. Oh, oh, that is foul. What have you got in there? Hey, any more of your lip and you won't get any. Is that a promise? Well, it does have a little bit of a, the aroma of the pond about it, but it's quality fish. 
Oh, hey, what did I say, eh? Quality. <laughs> uh, Zyke, tell me if I'm overstepping that line again, but what is this? It looks like one of my scouring pads. It's not so much the aroma of pond, it's the stench of filthy old pad. <laughs> I am not eating that fish. What's your problem? Zack, it was wrapped up. It stinks of cleaning fluid. All right, yeah, I've got Chippy. You lot, you don't know good food when you see it. I expect you'll be wanting to take your clothes off, won't you? Sorry? Well, they strip off all the time, don't they, where you come from? I'm not quite with you, Edna. Well, you have heard about this calendar, haven't you? It's Betty's idea, but for some strange reason, the vicar supports it. Disgrace yourself for charity. Perhaps I'll just talk to Ashley. Louise. Yes, Laurel. Oh. Get there. You want me to give it a rub for you? May I smell it? Hmm. <laughs> Tomato-based product. Cotton mix top. You'll need cold water and glycerine. Do I? Or baby wipes might do it. Shall I help? Um, yeah. That'd be great. Come round. I'll be on the bar. Yeah. But the, there are customers there. So? We won't bite. Oh, I feel dizzy. Perhaps you'd better come to the back room. Do you want to put your head between your legs? Not in here, she don't. Oh, look at them. Oh, don't worry, love. It's just Edna. She always looks like that. Come on, Laurel. Do them young girls need any help? Thoughtful of you, Seth, but divine assistance is on the way. Are you all right? I'm so sorry. I've... Stepped behind the bar and I saw all those people and I felt like I was falling. I'm not afraid of heights, but I felt like I was high up on a high ledge and... Laurel, <sighs> it's okay. Take a deep breath. You're fine now. I don't think we should worry about this stone. No! No, you, you can't go in front of your public with a blemish on your blouse. Do let me deal with it. Well, I'll just go and see if I can find some baby wipes. Hello. Hi, Ash. Laurel, oh, here, here at a bit of a turn. Vicar. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, very kind of you to ask. He's a vicar. He's supposed to be kind. Yeah, but I'm sure he really is kind under the dog collar, if you see what I mean. Yeah, uh, anyway, I I'm just here to collect Gabby. Uh, try not to overdo it. Mm. Oh, I found some. Do you feel like you're on a high ledge again? I've been behind the bar. I'm giving running repairs to the joint landlady. I've had kind words from the vicar. To be honest, I feel like I'm floating on a cloud. Never mind a high ledge. <sighs> Wondered if you'd gone off to the hills again. No. How was Katie? I don't want to talk about it. Are you sure? I'm not sure about anything. Well, why don't we clear up some of this mess? And if you feel like talking while we're at it, that's fine. And if you don't, that's fine too. I suppose you knew, didn't you? Sorry? About Shea Marlon. Ah, well, uh, I knew a buyer had come in for it, yeah. Are you all right, Marlon? Oh, I'm fine, I mean, I just see my dream trampled into the dust. Uh, but apart from that, that particular dream died a long time ago. You know the diocese is buying it, don't you? <laughs> no, I didn't know that. They're going to convert it into a church. <laughs> I see. Well, Cathy and Eric would be pleased it's sold. Oh, what are you happy with that? People singing hymns and listening to sermons where they once enjoyed the finest cuisine. To be honest, I'm just glad the villagers are going to have a place to worship. Trisha and Marlon. What about them? Well, they're a bit hopeless, aren't they? You what? Well, I love them, but they are. I mean, Trisha's all over the place and... Well, if you were to take on Marlon, it would be bullying, wouldn't it? Hey, hey, I heard that! So did I! I'm going for the sympathy vote. Now, I understand you've got things on your minds. I get that. But the fact of the matter is you owe me seven grand. Now, I told you, didn't I? I want it within a week. Really could do without this. I've told you, you'll get your money. 
Right, well, let's phone that up, eh? I want it by Friday or I take action. Friday, fair enough. Good. Thank you. Hi, on. Well, we've got to pay him. We've no choice, Trish. Wise words. <laughs> You're a big help. Excuse me. I've got to see a man about a drink. Well, she must have been pretty upset. Not really. No? She says she was fine. Do you believe her? It's somewhat up with her. She will admit how it feels. How does it feel? It seems to me you've spent most of the day thinking about Katie's feelings and not much about yours. I'm all right. Are you? Considering. Andy. I told her that I felt terrible. She said she was tougher than me. Look, never mind what she said. It feels like I'm sick. I have something wrong in my stomach and I can't eat. I can't think about anything else. I think about things that I don't want to, but they just keep going round and round in my head. Like what? <laughs> like the scan. <laughs> and I saw the picture. I mean, I know it was only a, a little smudge, but... <laughs> it was a picture of my baby. <laughs> my little boy, our little girl. And it went in that I realised I was going to be a dad. I know. <laughs> because everything was going so well. <laughs> it was going perfect. I know, son. I know. <sighs> this wasn't meant to happen. <sighs>